Hi, in this video, I'm excited to share that we have integrated with Delta.exchange to begin algo trading execution for crypto based uh, option uh, trading. So uh, in this video, we will one try to understand uh, the different instruments that are offered by Delta for crypto trading and then we will uh, build a strategy and try to understand uh, the, the different things that you need to keep in mind while building uh, strategies for algo trading on crypto options. And then we'll finally live execute the same strategy uh, on Tradetron. So let's uh, let's directly get into uh, understanding the different uh, instruments that are offered by Delta. So um, with Delta Exchange, you can basically trade with uh, trade with um, uh, daily expiry uh, options of uh, of two coins, which is Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now um, the 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 daily expiries that are offered uh, by Delta are basically um, the the current day, next day, and uh, the next few uh, next uh, weekly expiries. So you can see it is uh, it is around uh, 6 p.m. on the 1st of December. Uh, and uh, today's expiry, the 1st December expiry has already happened at 5.30 today. Um, and uh, the 2nd uh, December expiry has been uh, has been opened out here, uh, which can be traded uh, for Bitcoin as well as Ethereum. Along with this, uh, Delta also offers futures based trading and the futures out here are basically perpetual futures. So you can trade, uh, trade your futures instruments uh, for uh, for for as long as you like uh, without the uh, without the hassle of an expiry being uh, present in the middle now let's try to understand a strategy on how to build uh, a simple short straddle based strategy for a crypto based uh, instrument in this strategy we will basically build a short straddle for uh, for for uh, a crypto based uh, option instrument now out here i have added my entry condition as time is greater than 9:30 um now it is important to remember that uh, the timings uh, for crypto trading are basically 24 7 throughout the year however uh, on tradetron when we build our strategies the execution for uh, for crypto based strategies on tradetron will be limited to the mcx timings so uh, from nine o'clock in the morning till 11:30 uh, in the night is the uh, is the uh, indian standard time is the timings that are offered for mcx uh, trading with uh, crypto op uh, with uh, options the same timings will be offered for uh, delta exchange as well so uh, you can trade all your trade tron strategies on delta exchange from 9 30 in the morning to 11 30 and the same uh, days that the mcx are open will be uh, will be operational days for trade tron so um, monday to friday is basically when mcx trading happens similarly a uh, crypto based uh, trading for uh, delta exchange will happen from mondays to fridays um, with that understood, let's try and understand how we will uh, try to uh, try to fetch the data uh, for for uh, crypto uh, options and futures. Now, uh, just like uh, you would uh, you would use any keyword on Tradetron uh, to fetch the to fetch the uh, LTP data or to fetch the premium option data at the current price, uh, you can use a keyword called LTP. And within LTP, you will find an instrument name keyword. Now, in the instrument name keyword, we can build our instrument that we want for our uh, Delta-based uh, Delta uh, trading uh, account. Now, let's say uh, if I want to trade with, uh, with Delta, I can just uh, find Delta as the exchange out here. And once I select Delta as the exchange, I will find two different underlines. One is BTC USD, which is nothing but Bitcoin, and the other is ETH USD, which is Ethereum. So, um, as of now, I'll stick to BTC. And once I select these two, uh, I will be uh, shown the uh, the expiry for uh, for that particular instruments. So you can see uh, 1st December, 2nd, 3rd, 8th and so on. These are the expiries that are being offered for uh, this particular instrument. Now out here you can also see that uh, there is one expiry which is 2099 12th December, uh, uh, December 31st. Now this is basically the expiry of the perpetual futures. So let's say if I select this particular expiry, I will basically be getting the data of the perpetual futures that are being uh, being traded by Delta. Um, similarly, in the expiry keyword, you can find the current week uh, expiry as well. Now it's very important to remember that when you select current week uh, expiry keyword on Tradetron, uh, it will give you the latest expiry of that uh, of the Delta exchange uh, instrument. So let's say if you select current week expiry, it will give you the today's expiry uh, that will be fetched. And just like uh, like on Nifty Bank Nifty, it gives you the the the, the relevant weekly expiry of uh, Wednesday or Thursday. 
similarly in this case when you select current week it gives you the today's expiry uh, which is offered by delta now out here you can see that there is also an offset so let's say if i want uh, if i want today's expiry i can select 0 or if I, if i need tomorrow's expiry or day after tomorrow's expiry i can select 1 2 3 depending on the relevant expiry that i need as of now i'll just leave this blank and um, and we can select the instrument so i can select my call or i can select a put and uh, then i will uh, find the uh, the drop down for all the different strikes that are offered now um, along with the strikes you can see that at the end of this uh, strike chain you will be able to see atm and atm spot it is important to remember here that atm keyword uh, when you when you use atm keyword atm will basically fetch atm based on the uh, perpetual futures that are offered by delta so uh, let's say if perpetual futures of bitcoin is at 38000 the atm that is being fetched out here will basically be the 38000 uh, 38000 uh, call option so um, uh, that is one thing that you need to remember another thing that you need to remember is that atm spot keyword will not work for uh, for delta uh, for delta based uh, option trading um, uh, along with that uh, it, it's also wise to remember that uh, that since we are using uh, crypto options the liquidity in uh, in some of the options is very limited so uh, i would suggest that you first have a look at the uh, at the at the liquidity that is uh, that is visible on delta's website and based on uh, the liquidity you basically select a relevant instrument so like i can see 38400 has decent amount of liquidity in both my call and put so that would be uh, it would be wise to now trade in the 38000 uh, uh, 400 call and put uh, instrument uh, for for delta instead of selecting something that could be uh, illiquid uh, and and could thus trigger an error execution so uh, i have selected my 38400 uh, instrument out here now since we are building a uh, building a short straddle i will not be needing this uh, ltp keyword but it is good to remember it's good to understand that this is this is now going to fetch the ltp for the uh, uh, for the bitcoin of uh, my current week expiry call option uh, of 38400 um, so as of now i'll just close this and i'll submit this now let's try and build the position builder and see uh, what can we uh, understand from here now from here i can just select my sell option since i want to make a short straddle and i can select my exchange as delta now in delta i'll select uh, call or put as my instrument i'll select call for now and i'll select my underlying as btc usd now in my strike price i can either select atm uh, or i can select the relevant strike price directly which is 38400 and i can select current week or i can select the uh, relevant expiry in my case i'll just select the expiry um, now I'll select quantity uh, or lots now quantity is basically the absolute quantity that will be fired so if I select one one quantity of that particular uh, call option of uh, BTC USD will be fired um, however if I select lots um, out here this is a little different from nifty bank nifty where one lot is basically a smaller number as compared to one quantity so when we select one lot out here in Bitcoin it is basically 0 0.001 uh, quantity that is being fired so when we select one lot in bitcoin it's 0 0.001 and in ethereum uh, it is basically 0 0.01 which is the lot size so accordingly you can select lots of quantity based on whatever you want to uh, trade with so i'll just select uh, lots out here and click on add now similarly i will add the same thing for my put option my underlying will be btc usd and uh, my instrument uh, expiry will be 2nd of december which is tomorrow since the today's expiry has already expired uh, by now since it's 6 pm and i'll select one lot and i'll click on add now i'll close this and we'll uh, have a look at the universal exit conditions now in universal ex exit conditions i have ma basically made two conditions one is for my target and one is for my stop loss now this number that you are seeing out here uh, pnl greater than number 10 multiplied by multiplier this 10 is basically 10 dollars that is being uh, spoken about since all the trading of uh, crypto options happens in dollars this is the uh, dollar uh, dollar number that you need to add uh, and not rupees so this is not pnl greater than 10 rupees it is pnl greater than or less than uh, minus 5 dollars uh, and uh, greater than 10 dollars uh, uh, that is being uh, built out here in addition to that i've also added a condition as time is greater than uh, 1700 
Now, uh, since expiry is happening at 5:30 every day, ideally you would want to select something like time greater than uh, greater than 1700 or 1715 in order to close your positions before the expiry. Um, uh, to show you, uh, uh, for since I'm trading for tomorrow's options, I've kept time is greater than 1700 as my uh, keyword out here. Now, uh, let's have a look at the advanced settings. My advanced settings uh, will be standard what I use for my uh, normal uh, trade to run strategies. I'll select my reactivation time as let's say two hours and uh, the capital required based on uh, my understanding of the relevant capital required and my condition check frequency will be continuous. Um, now I'll just update my strategy and I can now uh, I can now uh, make a deployment for my strategy. So um, when I deploy the strategy, um, a very important thing to note is that if you select paper trading out here, paper trading will not work for uh, Delta uh, uh, Delta exchange. If you want to big, uh, if you want to trade without actually taking a trade, which means if you want to simulate your trades, you need to select live offline out here. Live offline will not fire any trade. It will just be uh, a simulated environment where your, uh, your your trades will be seen as executing. Uh, paper trading will not work for uh, for Delta exchange. It will not uh, check conditions and take trades. So I'll select live offline out here and I'll select my broker as Delta exchange and I'll click on deploy. Now uh, I'll just go to the deployed page and I will be able to see uh, that my my instrument has been traded. So I can see crypto uh, BTC USD and 2nd December uh, 38,400 call and put option has been traded. Uh, and 0.001 quantity has been shorted in both of these instruments and I can see the LTP price of uh, both these instruments that are uh, currently uh, there. Um, now based on uh, based on the data feed once uh, once any movement happens uh, these particular uh, instrument uh, LTPs will change and I will be able to see the same in my PNL value out here. I can also uh, just like everything else on Tradetron, I can use the three dots and pause the strategy, exit the strategy and so on. So as of now, I'll just trigger an exit in this and you can see the exit trade has uh, has been taken. Um, in uh, in our uh, in our Delta based uh, strategies, uh, there will be no separate pricing. Uh, you will be able to use uh, use the same uh, same uh, pricing that you have of 15 rupees per day per deployment for your uh, Delta strategy as of now um, and uh, execute the same strategies on Tradetron. So I hope this video on uh, on understanding how to build a strategy for Delta exchange helped. Uh, if you have any feedback on stuff that we should cover in future videos or some specific strategy that you'd like to see, feel free to drop it to us at uh, support at the rate of Tradetron.tech or add it in the comments below and we'll be sure to have a look at it and uh, cover it in uh, in future videos. Uh, we'd also like to know your feedback about uh, what else do you want to see on, on this channel. Um, thank you very much. Uh, uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.